Most people have no idea what just happened out there. But inside NASA, inside Harvard's astrophysics lab, inside observatories from Hawaii to Madrid, something unprecedented unfolded this week that has scientists pacing hallways, cancelling meetings, and staring at screens in complete disbelief. 3i slash ATLAS changed its behavior, not slowly, not gradually, but instantly, in a way that violates every model we have for interstellar objects. The moment the newest data came in, the room went silent, because no known natural object does this. Before we go any deeper, take a moment with me. If you feel that quiet pull of curiosity, that old space-age wonder we all grew up with, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me your country in the comments. I truly love seeing people from around the world joining these moments. Tonight's discovery may be one of the most important mysteries we've ever explored together. Let's begin. Earlier this week at 4.13 a.m. Eastern Time, three independent observatories detected a sudden shift, a dramatic, unexplained redirection, in the internal motion of 3i slash ATLAS, not its orbit, not its trajectory, but something happening inside it. Scientists call it a dynamic core oscillation event. But that phrase doesn't capture the shock of what they saw. Imagine looking at a lighthouse beam across the ocean, steady and predictable, and then out of nowhere. The beam bends in a direction light should not bend. That's what happened. 3i slash ATLAS emitted a pulse, a faint periodic vibration we've been tracking for months and suddenly that pulse doubled in amplitude, split into two frequencies, then collapsed into a single ultra-low hum we've never seen from any interstellar object. To a physicist, that is the equivalent of hearing a mountain breathe. When I first saw the raw data, I found myself holding my breath. It reminded me of an experience I had years ago, standing beside the cryogenic chamber that housed a superconducting magnet. As the temperature dropped, the magnet emitted creaks and sighs, tiny cracking sounds as the metal adjusted to impossible cold. The engineers told me, a machine makes noise when it's changing. That memory returned to me immediately, because 3i slash ATLAS sounded like it was adjusting. But adjusting to what? Here is where things get even more unsettling. As soon as 3i slash ATLAS changed its internal vibration, its outer shell, the thin layer of dust and reflective particles surrounding it, reconfigured. Instead of scattering sunlight normally, it began to reflect it in sharp angular flashes, almost like facets of a crystal being carved in real time. Astronomers are calling it a surface phase transition. But the truth is, no one knows what it means. One of the researchers described it like this. It's as if the object woke up and its skin hardened. Let that sink in. For months, we believed 3i slash ATLAS was some kind of carbon-rich icy visitor. A cousin of Oumuamua, perhaps drifting harmlessly through our solar system. But now, with this new behavior, that belief is unraveling, because an object that can change its internal frequency and reconfigure its surface is not behaving like a rock. It's behaving like a system. Let's walk carefully through the sequence of events. First, the internal oscillation doubled. Second, the surface crystallized. Third, the object's reflective signature narrowed, meaning it became more directional. And fourth, it released a burst of infrared energy, incredibly faint but precise, like a whisper of heat in the void. This final event, the infrared burst, is what triggered panic behind the scenes. Why? 
because natural objects do not release perfectly timed infrared pulses. Nature is messy, chaotic, imperfect. 3 I slash ATL AS is none of these things. The pulse resembled a pattern, not random noise. It repeated after 11.7 seconds, then again after 11.7 seconds, then a third time before disappearing completely. Three pulses, the same duration apart. Three identical amplitude curves. The odds of that occurring randomly from a tumbling interstellar ice fragment are astronomically low, as in impossible. This is the moment when scientists started using a word they avoided for months, intentional. That doesn't mean artificial, that doesn't mean intelligent, but it does mean structured. And for the scientific community, that alone is enough to cause frantic debate. Harvard's astrophysics division immediately ran computer simulations, attempting to account for the pulse pattern through natural processes, ice cracking, rotational stress, thermal jets, but none of them fit the signature. NASA attempted to replicate the event in plasma labs and laser-heated materials. Nothing matched. So now, the uncomfortable truth is on the table. 3i slash ATLAS might contain something or be made of something we have never encountered. Let's dig deeper. In the minutes following the infrared pulse, 3i slash ATLAS's trajectory shifted by a fraction of a degree. Not much, perhaps the width of a coin held at arm's length, but enough that the navigation team noticed instantly. Again, this was not a gravitational shift. It wasn't caused by a jet of gas or debris. There was no outgassing event recorded, no plume, no acceleration spike, nothing. The object simply changed direction. A natural object cannot do that without expelling matter. 3i slash ATLAS did not. Instead, its motion drifted as though its center of mass moved. What could move inside it? This question has created a kind of scientific panic. The frantic reanalysis, the emergency peer reviews, the calls between universities, the urgent meeting NASA held only hours ago. Because if something moved inside 3i slash ATLAS, then the object is hollow, or layered, or segmented or housing something that can shift position. A researcher at JPL said this to me privately. It's not a comet. It's not an asteroid. It's acting like a mechanism. A mechanism. That word hasn't been used lightly, but we are running out of natural explanations. As always, we must stay grounded. There are exotic natural possibilities. Fractured core rotation, trapped superfluid pockets, quantum-locked crystal structures, even non-Newtonian mass distributions created during interstellar travel. Yet none of these have been observed anywhere, ever. And 3i slash ATLAS continues to defy expectations. A day after the internal shift, it passed through a dense stream of solar wind particles. And instead of slowing down, it maintained velocity perfectly. Most objects wobble when hit by energetic particles. This one didn't budge. It held course as though protected by something. A field, a sheath, a structure. The frantic tone among scientists comes from this realization. Whatever 3i slash ATLAS is, it is not passive. It interacts with the environment. It adapts it changes. Let me step back and share something personal. When I was young, during the height of the Apollo era, I used to sit outside with my father and point our small telescope toward the moon. He once told me, in our lifetime we may see things that make us question everything we thought we knew. I didn't fully understand those words then, but today 
watching three I slash A T L A S evolve in real time. I understand. This is one of those moments. Something out there is challenging our assumptions about nature, physics, and the boundaries of what objects in space can be. And here is the biggest question scientists are now asking. Is this the beginning of a transformation or the continuation of one? Because if 3i slash ATLAS is changing, adapting, or reacting, it might be undergoing a natural process we've never witnessed. Or, whisper this quietly, it might be following a sequence. A sequence implies order. Order implies design. Design implies purpose. We are not jumping to conclusions, but the possibility alone is enough to send shockwaves through the scientific world. So where does this leave us? Here's what we know, with certainty. 3i slash ATLAS is no longer behaving like a passive traveler. Its internal structure is dynamic. Its surface is changing. Its infrared output is patterned. Its motion is intentional, or at least controlled. And it is still heading deeper into our solar system. Whatever is happening is accelerating. As we reach the end of this chapter, I want to leave you with a thought. The universe is ancient, older than our species, older than our world, older than every dream humanity has ever had. And sometimes, something passes close enough to remind us that we are still beginners in a cosmic playground we barely understand. Most people have no idea what's unfolding right now, but you do. And if this story stirred something inside you, that quiet awe, that childhood curiosity, that feeling that the universe still has secrets, then don't look away just yet. On your left, a video should be appearing right now. Click it. It continues this mystery in a direction that even I didn't expect. Because whatever three I slash ATLAS is becoming, the story is only just beginning.